As part of Beijing's strategy to gain greater control over global agricultural supply chains, China's largest food and agricultural conglomerates have been scooping up foreign firms in the past decade, from dairy farms, food companies, to animal husbandry, nutrition supplement, and agricultural product companies. While we worry about food shortages and price hikes, let's take a look at China's footprint and get a good understanding of which U.S. and Western companies China has acquired in the food supply chain. Hi everyone, I'm Lei. Welcome to Lei's Real Talk. In 2013, as reported by state media, Beijing authorities calculated that if China relied solely on domestic agriculture with no imports, it would require more than 200 million hectares of cropland. But China only had 160 million hectares. The shortfall is about 20 percent. Eight years later, in 2021, the actual land used for crops fell to 117 million hectares, and the shortfall grew to 41 percent. I discussed the many reasons for China's growing dependency on food imports in my earlier videos. Today, I'll talk about Beijing's going global strategy as part of its food security initiative. The strategy was established in 2013, and it encourages Chinese conglomerates to gain greater control over global agricultural supply chains. With state-controlled financial institutions backing them up financially, Chinese companies are willing to pay big money to acquire foreign food and agriculture assets. In 2013, China's largest meat producer, Shuanghui Group, acquired Virginia-based Smithfield in a cash deal that was 31% higher than the market price. It was the largest merger and acquisition deal by a Chinese company in the U.S. at the time. Four years later, when China National Chemical Corporation, or ChemChina, a state-owned enterprise, bought Syngenta, the world's largest producer of agricultural chemicals and third largest seed producer, the $43 billion price Cam China paid made the deal the largest Chinese overseas acquisition ever. While Syngenta is a Swiss company, it operates multi billion dollar farm sites across 16 US states, and this is attractive to the Chinese. Its seed business accounts for 10% and 6% sales of US corn and soybean seeds, respectively. In the same year Syngenta was acquired, Chinese state owned food processing giant. China Oil and Foodstuffs Corporation, or COFCO, entered into a partnership with Growmark, a U.S. grain logistics company. The deal gives China access to key areas in the United States for exporting grain. In 2015, China's largest animal feed producer, New Hope Liuhe, acquired a 20% stake in a leading American grain trading company, Lansing Trade Group which was founded in 1922. A week ago, on May 26, the U.S.-China Economic Security Council released a report titled China's Interests in U.S. Agriculture, Augmenting Food Security Through Investment Abroad. The report evaluated the economic and national security risks of Chinese agricultural investments in the United States. The report's author believes that if further integration with Chinese supply chains occurs, the CCP could have undue influence over U.S. supply chains. If China acquires more large U.S. agribusinesses, it could create economic distortions in the U.S. agricultural market. In 2019, when China was experiencing a hog fever outbreak, Smithfield changed production at a plant to accommodate the shortage in China while knowing that the production change would cause shortages in the U.S. Smithfield's Director of Raw Material Procurement, Arnold Silver, told an industry conference in late 2019 that sales to China could create shortages for U.S. customers. Down the road, if this continues and we ship a lot of products to China, certainly I think we could see shortages, particularly in hams and bellies. And shortages could mean food price hikes to U.S. consumers, which we are seeing now. Newsweek reported in 2020 that foreign investments have hiked up property values at the expense of potential American landowners. 
unrestricted foreign investors are snatching up leftover farmland and driving out local land-seeking Americans in the process. Currently, only six states in the United States have laws prohibiting foreigners from owning farmland. Iowa, Hawaii, Minnesota, Mississippi, North Dakota, and Oklahoma. The U.S. Department of Agriculture estimated that between 2004 and 2014, the value of U.S. land held by China increased from $17 billion to $43 billion. China's agriculture and food giants have invested beyond North America. Kafka also owns Dutch grain trader Nadera and has bought Singapore-based Noble Agri, an agriculture trading and processing business. Chem China, the company that bought Syngenta, also owns Israel's Maktashem Agen Group, the world's largest maker of generic pesticides, and France's Adicio Group, a global animal nutrition feed firm. New Hope Liu He also owns the fourth largest beef processor in Australia, Kilcoy Livestock Corporation, and has a 50.1% stake in PGG Wrightson, the largest agricultural service company in New Zealand and the number one grass seed business in the Southern Hemisphere. New Hope also has entered into a strategic cooperation agreement with Coupel Group, a leader in the integrated pig industry chain in France. Besides owning grain traders, meat producers, and animal feed and pesticide manufacturers, China's state-owned conglomerates have been buying food companies worldwide. The most ambitious investor is Shanghai-based Bright Food Group, which owns 75% of Manassan Foods, one of the top 40 food suppliers in Australia, 72% of Spanish food distributor Micao Alimentacio, 70% of French Bordeaux wine exporter Diva, 60% of the UK's breakfast cereal company Weetabix, and 56% of the largest food company in Israel, Tanuva. Bright Food Group has also acquired a majority stake in Salov Group, an Italian company that's one of the world's top olive oil producers. Bright Foods is China's largest food company, and the Shanghai Municipal Government is its controlling stakeholder. Another market that China has been aggressively expanding overseas is the nutritional supplement industry. IVC, or International Vitamin Corporation, is a Chinese company snapping up supplement manufacturers in North America and Europe. The company is headquartered in California and was established in 2010. Four years after the company was founded, it started aggressive global expansion. It bought contract manufacturer Adam Nutrition in 2014 and the supplement manufacturing arm of Perigo in 2016. In 2017, IVC acquired all assets of England's Brunel Healthcare Manufacturing and BioCare. In 2019, IVC reached an agreement with the American brand GNC to establish a joint venture and buy GNC's manufacturing arm. Under the joint venture agreement, IVC will assume control of manufacturing and integrate into GNC's supply chain, while GNC will continue to support product development and innovation. Last September, IVC completed its acquisition of Vita Health products in Canada, giving IVC access to the Canadian market. IVC now claims on its website that it has 10 international manufacturing sites and is the number one manufacturer of store brand vitamin and nutritional supplements in the US and possibly in the UK as well. IVC did not disclose its ownership and is very low key about its affiliation with China. However, Jiangsu Island Nutrition Company said on its website that it owns IVC. But media articles about the ownership relations between the two companies have been inaccessible. Chinese infant formula and nutrition firm Biostime is another company that has invested aggressively in the overseas beauty and health market. Headquartered in Guangzhou, it owns 49% of a French dairy and infant formula co-op, Isigny Sommer, 
and 100% of Healthy Times, a premium organic baby food and care products brand in the United States. The Chinese company also owns Melbourne-based Swiss Wellness Group, a global supplement and skincare brand that has Nicole Kidman as one of its brand ambassadors. Biles Time changed its name to H&H &H Group and in 2019 acquired controlling shares of British skincare brand Aurelia Probiotic Skincare. Other notable mentions include Hong Kong listed Chinese dairy company Osnutria, which bought 75% of Australian manufacturer of natural medicines, nutrition care pharmaceuticals in 2016. In the same year, New Hope, the Chinese conglomerate I mentioned earlier, bought Australia's third largest healthcare brand, Natural Care. Okay, I've given you an overview of the food and supplement companies owned by Chinese firms. It's not a complete list, but it's pretty inclusive as I have searched far and wide. If you want to know which dairy companies were bought by China, here's the video I made about baby formula shortages. The other video explains why China relies on food imports. That's all for today. Thank you very much. See you next time.